The Washington, Baltimore and Annapolis Electric Railway WB&A, was an American railroad of Central Maryland and Washington, D.C., built in the 19th and 20th century. The WB&A absorbed two older railroads, the Annapolis and Elk Ridge Railroad and the Baltimore and Annapolis Short Line, and added its own electric streetcar line between Baltimore and Washington. It was built by a group of Cleveland, Ohio, electric railway entrepreneurs to serve as a high-speed, showpiece line using the most advanced technology of the time. It served Washington, Baltimore, and Annapolis, Maryland, for 27 years before the Great Depression and the rise of the automobile forced an end to passenger service in 1935. Only the Baltimore and Annapolis portion continued to operate. Today, parts of the right-of-way are used for light rail, rail trails and roads. Topic. History Topic Origins The WB&A was originally incorporated in 1899 as the Potomac and Severn Electric Railway. On April 10, 1900, it changed its name to the Washington and Annapolis Electric Railway and finally, on April 8, 1902, to the Washington, Baltimore and Annapolis Electric Railway. In 1903, the WB&A purchased the Annapolis, Washington and Baltimore Railroad AW and B, formerly the Annapolis and Elkridge Railroad, which was closed, electrified and reopened. At the same time, it laid an almost straight double-track route parallel to the B&O and Pennsylvania railroads, but slightly to the east in less populated territory. On February 7, 1908, service began from Liberty Street in Baltimore to its Washington Terminal at 15th and H Streets Ney. After 1910, the line reached the heart of downtown on 15th Street near the Treasury. Another single track began at the B&O Main Line at Annapolis Junction, crossed the WB&A Main Line just east of Odenton, and headed east via Millersville and Crownsville to Annapolis. The line built by the WB&A, later called the Main Line, ran from Baltimore to Washington through Bowie, Glendale Hospital, and Glenarden to Fairmont Heights where it met with the Chesapeake Beach Railway just outside Washington at Chesapeake Junction. From there, it continued to Deanwood on the Washington Railway and Electric Company's Seat Pleasant Line, running parallel to the Chesapeake Beach Railroad tracks and across the Benning Road Bridge into downtown Washington. Once onto their own right-of-way, the WB&A's expresses regularly hit 60 miles per hour, but street running in the terminal cities slowed their overall time. A typical B&O Express made the trip in 50 minutes, but the best the WB&A could do was an hour and 20 minutes. Offsetting these handicaps were its cleanliness, lower fares, half-hourly express service, and better located downtown terminals. Topic business Along the route always looking for new sources of business, the railroad, in 1914, convinced the Southern Maryland Agricultural Fair Association to establish Bowie Race Track along the main line. In September 1917, as the U.S. entered World War I, George Bishop, the WB&A's well-connected president, persuaded the U.S. Army to acquire land owned by the railroad and open a training facility. Camp Mead was established in the area roughly bounded by the B&O Washington branch on the west, the Pennsylvania Railroad on the east, and the south shore line of the WB&A to the south. The installation was supposed to be a temporary facility, used only for the duration of the war it is still in use today. The WB&A saw record traffic during this time as a result of freight and passenger service to the camp. In 1918, the railroad was running as many as 84 special trains a day. Topic expansion With the business seemingly successful, the WB&A purchased the Baltimore and Annapolis Short Line in 1921. It became known as the North Shore Line and the Annapolis to Odenton Line as the South Shore Line. 
At this time, the B&A gave up its terminus at the Camden Street Station of the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad and started using the WB&A terminal on Liberty Street between Lexington and Fayette in Baltimore. Prior to 1921 the WB&A and B&A had run on separate, parallel tracks from Linthicum to Baltimore. But on March 16, 1921, a crossover connected the two parallel tracks at Linthicum operations ceased on the B&O track, and a new terminal was built at the southwest corner of South Howard and West Lombard Streets current site after the early 1970s of Holiday Inn Hotel across from the Baltimore Civic Center First Mariner Arena. The WB&A now consisted of 81 miles of track and the only practical way to get from Washington, D.C., to Annapolis. Equipment Initial passenger equipment running from Baltimore, Washington to Annapolis was the classic. 1900-1910 arch window all wood body truss rod frame interurban coach. In the 1920s when passenger business was good, the line purchased an operated steel two-car articulated attached body with a common center truck boogie coaches from Baltimore to Annapolis. This equipment later went to the Milwaukee Electric Line in Wisconsin. Topic decline Around the time of the purchase of the ASL, the Defense Highway was built providing an alternative route into Annapolis. As a result gross receipts for the railroad began to decline. The railroad only survived because of a law exempting it from taxes. In January 1931, during the Great Depression, the extension of the law failed to pass by one vote and the line went into receivership. The line remained in operation for four more years and was eventually sold at auction in 1935. Evans Products Company of Detroit negotiated to buy the railroad in June 1935, but those negotiations failed and the railroad officially ceased operations on August 20, 1935. Scrap dealers eventually bought most of the rolling stock. Evans bought the Arlington and Fairfax Railroad the next year. Over time, the rails were hauled away, though by the beginning of World War II some remained and at least one post-war home in the area used old rails in lieu of I-beams. The right-of-way within Washington, D.C. remained under the ownership of RECO and then the old Capital Transit Company. At some point between 1951 and 1956, the tracks in D.C. were removed, the right-of-way of the North Shore Line and some equipment was bought by the Bondholders Protective Society, who then formed the Baltimore and Annapolis Railroad Company, which continued to operate rail passenger service between Baltimore and Annapolis until 1950 and freight service along with diesel passenger buses into the early 1970s to Brooklyn in South Baltimore. Baltimore, connecting with the number no. 6 transit line for streetcars and buses of the old Baltimore Transit Company. While the vast majority of the South Shore Division was abandoned and sold for scrap in the 1930s, the portion between Annapolis Junction and Odenton was purchased and operated by the B&O to serve Fort Meade until sometime between 1979 and 1981. It too was removed. Only the junction tracks at Annapolis Junction, which are used by an aggregates terminal, and an abandoned spur to the old Nevamar plant in Odenton remain. Topic accidents On June 5, 1908, two of WB&A's single-car trains collided at Camp Parole, Maryland. Nine people died as a result of the crash, including railroad policeman J.G. Schreiner. The trains were ferrying riders to and from the United States Naval Academy for graduation ceremonies at the time of the accident. Topic: <laughs> Stations on the main line. Stations on the South Shore Line, Annapolis and Elk Ridge Railroad. Stations on the North Shore Line, Baltimore and Annapolis Railroad. 
Topic surviving landmarks The WB&A Terminal in Baltimore, now a bank at North Liberty Street and Marion Street The Scott Street substation on the Ney corner of Scott and Ostend Streets The Westport Tunnel's southern portal is visible just north of the Baltimore-Washington Parkway's Annapolis Road exit. The Baltimore Light Rail uses the right-of-way twice, once from Baltimore Highlands through North Linthicum to a point north of Maple Road, and again from south of Linthicum to BWI Airport. The section of the light rail going to Glen Burnie Cromwell Station uses the Baltimore and Annapolis Railroad's parallel right-of-way. Linthicum Railroad Station WB&A Boulevard in Severn was built on the right-of-way. A section of railroad track exists in the Academy Junction section of Odenton, Maryland. It branches off of Amtrak's Northeast Corridor just south of MD 175, Annapolis Road and travels east past the Odenton Library and across MD 170, Piney Orchard Parkway at grade before turning north to cross Annapolis Road, also at grade. It then travels a short distance north to the site of the old Nevamar Company's manufacturing plant. That plant shut down in 2004 and trains haven't run on the spur since. At the northeast corner of the location where the track listed above crosses MD 170 Telegraph Road is a brick building that once housed the WB&A operations headquarters. The Baltimore-Washington Main Line and Fort Meade-Annapolis South Shore branch crossed at this location, known as Naval Academy Junction. The interlocking tower that controlled this crossing comprised the second floor. Commercial office tenants occupy the building today. The Naval Academy Junction shop sat about 1 mile 1 .6 kilometers north of Naval Academy Junction, on the east side of MD-170. The brick shop buildings were subsumed into a larger building complex that housed a number of manufacturing companies, including Nevamar Plastics, but those shops were torn down in 2013. The electrical power plant for this section of the WB&A overhead still stands, and is visible from MD-170. Two portions of the WB&A trail, one from Odenton Town Center to the Two Rivers Development and another 5.8 mile kilometers section from the Patuxent River to Glendale, run on the old right-of-way of the main line. These two portions of the trail are not connected due, in part, to a property dispute that diverted the trail west in Anne Arundel County where a bridge will be built later. The trestle over Horsepen Branch on the Bowie Race Track Spur, and short sections of roadbed on either side of the trestle. A nearby rail trail signed WB&A Spur Trail, branches off of the WB&A Trail and was built on a route that once served the race track, but the route was actually constructed subsequent to the WB&A's demise, by the Pennsylvania Railroad. MD-704 was built on the right-of-way. A freight motor, Washington Baltimore and Annapolis No. 1, is maintained at the Western Railway Museum in Rio Vista, California. <laughs>